Hello everyone, it's Rob here from Woodward Games. Been a while, how's everyone going? Um, I thought I would show you something that is brand spanking new. Uh, we're going to be looking at, actually I should go back to my full screen just so you know. <laughs> we're going to be looking at the, what is it, the Union Rep Teams. We've been waiting for this for ages, for many, many months, and the time has come where we have them. Now I just want to double check something. Okay, good, you can hear me, sweet, that's what we're interested in. Not that I'm going to say anything interesting, but anyway, just, just look at the beautiful pictures and things like this. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what we're looking at, what we're going to look at is what is called the release candidate, which is, it's not the official ready release of the union, what do you call it, of the union rep team thing. This is just something where they're just ironing out things, seeing how it goes, and just so that we have all of us inpatient managers, this scruffy mob. Um, get to experiment with it and try it out. So that is what we're going to do right now. We're going to have a look at it. So what I'm going to do is we're going to go straight to here. Now, um, it looks this actually looks quite bright. So there seems to be some type of um, issue with the brightness of this screen here, but don't worry about it. Now we're going to the best union in the whole world, the bestest of them all. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to the unicorn hawkers yes you can see some different things here the log actually says the last log was from the 4th september so maybe it's not connected to the thing but if we look up the top here you got the join if you want to join a union you can join unions here just look for unicorn hookers <laughs> i had to think about it for a moment then look for unicorn hookers and you'll just find just the best one actually well, i'm going to see who, who let's go check something out just want to have a quick look how many uh, unions are over level 20? Oh, there's quite a few. Nice. Ah, why is there? Ah, there's two unicorn. Okay, there's like a double up here. Remember, this is probably like a beta, you could say. It's not, not the official launch or release or anything like that. Just, just a preview so we can experiment with it and everything like that. Oh, no, here it is. Yeah. So we're level 34, unicorn hookers. Closest, that's old Phil's team, um, Phil's union. Uh, Bewilderment Inc. is level 31, and then everyone else. Pirates, RFU. Uh, yeah, you've got some other ones there. This is the current situation right now. But we're here to see something else. Look at the top. Look at the top here. You've got Join Lobby and Stadium. Ooh, shiny. And we've got Reptines. Ooh, okay. So we've got the lobby, nothing's really changed there. And this is a first look. Okay, honestly, it's a second look because I had a look at this about half an hour ago and I was like, oh my God, I've got to go do a live stream about this. I've got to show you what is happening. And yes, I have. This is, this is there is the thing called the Union Stadium. you got some like fat dude walking <laughs> A chubby, and no, you can't say those types of things nowadays. He is a corporally interesting person there. And then you've got another dude over here talking to a lady. You've got to be inclusive and all that stuff. And we're looking at our stadium, or a stadium. It mustn't be our stadium, because our stadium's down here. Okay, but most importantly, we have a bar to the right. Yes! That's what we came for. That's all we wanted. We didn't, we're not interested in the union league. We're not interested in, you know, this competition between unions. We just came here for the bar. Sweet. I told you it's to the right. That's where it is. And on, just so you know, we've got some bottles of champagne at the top. We've got about seven bottles of champagne. We've got a bar on tap there with some beer and things like that. That is all you need to know. Thank you very much. This was the, <laughs> the union rep teams. I'll see you next time. Simple as that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so in this scene here, okay, if you look up the top there, the stadium, that's actually an awesome view. This is like, the, this is the corporate box. This is like, oh man, please, someone from rugby, invite me to one of these places. This looks so good. I've never been, I've been like in the like the furthest seat away from the, the game. That's usually where I sit. Uh, okay, I don't actually sit, I'm actually usually sweeping or something like that in the stadium because can't get the tickets. But anyway, this is just so cool. Okay, over here, that, that dude, 
who's been drinking too much beer, he's actually looking at something on the like TV screens on the wall. Okay. And he just goes back and forth. He's stressed out. He must be a, a unicorn hookers man. <laughs> a unicorn hookers manager. He's like, oh shit, what's happening here? What did I get myself into? God. Anyway, so we've got the Union Stadium here. And actually before going on stream, I had to click it. I had to upgrade our stadium. Because you notice that you normally start at level one. And I was just like, I wonder if this works. Click, oops, okay, so something happened. <laughs> the thing I'm not sure about is whether this ends up being resetted, you know, just blank, all of our things that we do here starts from scratch, or whether it actually, yeah, whether it just, I don't know, continues over time, anyway. So, you know that most unions have a treasury. This is, these are the tokens that you get uh, every the beginning of every season from your members. Some, you know, like they pay like, I think minimum's five tokens per member. And if the union wants, they can put up to 50 or so. But that's just being greedy. You don't need that much in the treasury. And then you have these room upgrade points. It actually says here, if we click on this, treasury. Well, let's see, we'll see if anything comes up. Help! Help the Union Treasury, because we've got no money. Okay, so the Union Treasury stores all the Union tokens, uh, blah, blah, blah. You can just read this later, okay. Um, that's what it is. And then the room upgrade points. Now, these, these, these room upgrade points, what you get for completing the, ch the challenge packs, okay. You finish one whole pack of the challenges, you get a Union upgrade point. I'm not too sure how else you get them. It'll probably appear in here, which I didn't read. At this point, the only upgrades that are available are purchasing new challenge packs. No, update this because you can up, you can upgrade your stadium and some other things. See challenges below for more information. Blah 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 blah. Okay, so you get these points since we are the highest level. Uh, what do you call it? the highest level uh, union in the game currently, can change in the future, probably like about like 50, 60 years from now maybe it could happen, but you know, currently it's just the best ever. Just saying, just saying. Um, we've got 24 of them, so we've done a lot of the challenge packs, we've finished them off, because that's something good about our union, we just participate in all of these different things. So what I noticed here, this is our stadium currently at level two, and if I use one of our uh, room upgrade points, at the moment it's level 2 and it has a plus 10 XP bonus. So not too sure what that means. There's no explainer anywhere. So if I upgrade it now, we have got a plus 15 bonus. Ooh, okay. Our, what do you call it? Our, our supporters they actually got the covered stadium now. That's what we want. And we have capacity for 6,000, level 3. And there's a plus 15 XP bonus, which is maybe what the bonus that the that the union gets, maybe. Or maybe it's a bonus of XP for the players that are in the game. No idea, because this is brand new. But well, I'm sure we're going to learn more about it a bit later. Okay, so I'm not going to keep playing. I'm going to keep clicking this until we get to the maximum. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if later on it actually costs more R, what is it, room upgrade points, got to remember this. I wonder if it costs more room upgrade points, like for the bigger levels. I wonder. We will see. So here we have the stadium, and then we have the rep teams. And here it says, wow, this is another shiny area, and you've got, you've got all of the, like the, the player lockers over here, number 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. You got another random dude just, you know, he's got his hoodie there and he's just got his hands in his pocket playing his nuts probably. And you got a guy sitting on the sofa there with his leg up. Okay, now he's swapped his leg over. He's put it up on his other knee now. Okay. I wonder how he's just going to do that the whole time. The other guys, he's going to be just fiddling around with his toys. Anyway, so we've got some different things here. We've got line out. Please create a rep team. Game plan, please great. <laughs> league, <gasps> next league, uh, rep league season starts in four days, 13 hours, four minutes and 32 seconds. Oh yeah. And we have fixtures. We've got no fixtures in the past, no upcoming ones. You can toggle dates, but it doesn't matter because we've got no fixtures there at all. So if we go to lineup, 
And what does this say? Unlock utility slot. Please create a rep team first. Okay. Nominate players. Please create a rep team first. So I assume, I think the suggestion is, this is, yep, well done. I think we have to cr please create a rep team, Rob. Get to it. So create a new rep team. And what happens when we do it? Ooh, it says rep team creation. Time zone. Okay, this is, I'm in, based in New Zealand, Pacific Auckland time, plus 13 at the moment, UTC. Um, in your local time, league kickoff at home is going to be at 9.30. Must be New Zealand time. If I wanted or we wanted, we could change the, the time to any time. But this could be a good time because I could probably stream our league matches at this time. Yes, Sandwich, I think they might want me to create a rep team. It's it's a possibility and still not too sure. I'm just waiting for some like flashy button to come up there. Okay, so it's gonna confirm. So if I, ah, and this also, so to create a rep team, we have to click on one of these red, red, it's bloody green. It's, there's an R there, I thought it was red. A room upgrade point. So, Lee kickoff time is at 9.30, which is going to be good for the Northern Hemisphere too, because it's going to be like 9.30 in the morning. <laughs> you know, uh, I know our guy, the guys in our union, they sort of get up like about 2 in the afternoon, so they're going to miss out on all the matches, lazy buggers. Anyway, I could, I'll just leave it on there, because maybe we can change things later, maybe not. We will see, but I'm going to create the first rep team in the history of rep team cre reptile creation, I oh, know whatever. Let's click it, see what happens. <gasps> and it says, "Okay, <laughs> that went down well." Copy to clipboard. Internal error in socket. Okay, so something didn't happen there. And I want to click whatever. <laughs> okay, so that went down really well. Create a new team. So if I change it to Midway Pacific, no, we'll just keep it on there. Okay, so unfortunately it's not working, so that didn't go down well. <laughs> yep, so basically that is all we're going to show. Thank you for watching. <laughs> Let's just go upgrade this stadium like to level 500 or something. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you can create a rep team, so maybe it's not okay that, that okay, like I said at the beginning, um don't let Rob click things because it will really end up screwing things up. Okay, so anyway, this is the first look. This is just a preview. Eventually, when it's all connected and everything like that, we will create a new rep team and we will see what happens. We can nominate players and everything like that. Maybe if I change the other team, what happens here? It'll say, okay, let's go to the rep stadium. Oh, upgradable by union admins, ooh. And I haven't given myself <laughs> permission because I, I know myself. <laughs> this, is, this is the team I use when I get drunk, so it's like, okay, let's just do whatever. It's actually doing really well, this team. I don't know how, I don't know how. Okay, and um, only an executive or a president can create a new rep team. Okay, please create a rep team. Please create a rep team. <laughs> so that's not unlocked. No. Okay. Yep. No, it didn't happen. Okay, so that basically didn't really happen. Woodward Games. We'll go here. And so we go to the rep stadium, rep team, and let's just try one more time. It's not going to work. Now, okay, so we're gonna have to try this again later. So, as I said, this is the first look, the first temptation. Enticing's like, ooh, what is behind that red curtain? Yeah, at the moment we can't tell. So create a new rep team. So maybe we have to wait until next rep league team. So I wonder, okay, in, in the Discord, would you become a real rugby manager if I had a choice? Uh, probably not, because I just totally wing it. This is an online game, and I can sort of like make logical decisions about things that don't answer back to you. 
<laughs> for example, I can go to my squad and I'm just gonna go change a guy's name and they've got no choice in the matter. <laughs> they can't, yeah, they can't, they don't answer back. They're easy, they don't complain. You don't need to feed them or anything like that. But with a real, like with a real team, Especially kids. No, kid teams. No, sorry, can't do that. I would sponsor a kid's team. No problem. But actually managing them? No, it's just like, because you got to, I don't, I don't like to hurt people's feelings. It's like, because I know it's like, no, 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 you're not playing today because you're just like real shitty. You can't go in the team. It's like, the parents are like, don't say that to my son. He's only young. It's like, yeah, we've got to learn real life stuff. And I, I'd probably get into trouble for doing things like that. So, yeah. And they found like a built like a tank. Yeah, that, that fella's built like a tank. Yeah, he, he he's gonna be good. He's gonna be a great prop. But the thing is, in Blackout Rugby Manager, I tend to feed my players too many pies. If we go look at the weight of my players, this is like 140, 140, 139, 136. I think 140 is now the maximum. I think. It used to be one. 50 something. I think it's 140 now. I can't make I can't feed them more pies. Let's see if we can feed them more pies. Ah, yeah, you can only feed them up to 140 kilos. And if I had a real team, you probably will see these little kids, overweight kids, just rolling around the 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 field or pitch or whatever you want to call it. And they're like, no, nah, the parents are like, you know, have another pie, mate. You're gonna need it. You're you're too you're too skinny. Have another pie. It's gonna work out well in the scrum. Okay, you can't run very far, but that's life. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah so basically that was okay so I can actually see here this is the like a preview vision uh, version this is on the I'm on a what do you call it a PC now so they have changed some of these things here player information anything else different here probably not not that I can see line up go to the comps here competitions uh, did, yeah sort of did well this season yes um, but is there anything else I can really see here? No, nothing really interesting. And click on here. Not a bot. <laughs> I love that. That's his name. Manager, not a bot. That's a cool one, that one. Bears. Yes, yeah, so basically that was a bit of a <laughs> letdown. American rugby team. Nah, nah, just rugby team. Um, no, American rugby. I, I know that you've got like a break every like a two hour break every like 30 seconds that's all i know about american football <laughs> just so they can put lots of advertisements on on tv so basically unfortunately we can't upgrade anything else we can't create a team but we'll do it another time and we'll see what this nominate players is and the unlock utility so probably what i will do off screen maybe tomorrow because I think this is best. They said they're going to, Jeremy said it was going to be maybe tomorrow, most likely. So I'm just one step. <laughs> maybe I shouldn't have gotten into this release candidate before. But anyway, so we're going to see everything, how this all works more in depth in a future live stream. I thought I'd just test it out. Meanwhile, go to the stadium. Let's just upgrade it one more time. And now it's, okay, it didn't change. Okay, it did go up to level four. And we are <laughs> losing points as a plus 20 XP bonus. No idea. But we'll learn more about this later. So, yep, that was my quick live stream of trying to get this thing working. It's in beta, remember. Things are not going to work as you have already seen. But, yeah, that's going to be figured out most likely in the next couple of days because I'm pretty sure they want this ready before the start of the next season. So you'll probably see me here. Uh, definitely not tomorrow, but maybe the day after or not. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see when it's up and running and I'll do another live stream testing out all of these nominate players and unlock utility slots and everything like that. So anyway, thank you for joining me today, uh, Sanvik, and if you're watching this later, what do you think about the rep team uni rep teams that are coming up you excited how do you think your union's gonna do and do you have any <laughs> anal cream because <to laughs> that's what's gonna happen for some of the the union teams but that's it's just gonna be a fun thing it's gonna be these union teams are gonna be great 
as a way to create community within the unions and have lots of infighting. It's like, no, why did you choose that player? <laughs> and then you have players that are in multiple unions. So it's like, ah, uh, are they spies? Are they <laughs> going to cause disruption? That is going to be the, f this is going to be the political side, like in real life rugby union. This type of shit happens, I'm pretty sure of it. <laughs> anyway, I'll leave it like that. I won't bore you with any, all of the rest of this stuff. So until next time, take care, stay safe. Let me know what you think down in the comments about what's going to happen. And I'll see you next time. Just stay, um, just, if you haven't already, subscribe so you know when I'm going to go live. Uh, but even just check out the, the official Discord of Blackout Rugby Manager. I usually let people know there that I'm going to do some crazy shit here on YouTube. Out of the blue. That's what I do. Until next time, take care, stay safe. And as always, have an awesome day.